Hey guys, it's Jim Night Queen coming back at you with yet another video. So I was gonna do a my um a pet peeves video, but I decided to hold that off. So today is going to it's probably gonna be the video. This video is probably gonna be all over the place, but I don't really care because I feel like the message needs to be spread. Now, if you are definitely younger than 18 and you're watching this video I'm gonna tell you this and this is to anybody but especially to the next generation if you're starting high school or if you're in high school even if you're in middle school be yourself don't compromise who you are just so you can be popular just so you can get boys to notice you. Remember that movie, Mean Girls, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Even though the movie, yes, the movie was a comedy. It was hilarious. That movie has a message. Okay. Remember Katie Heron? She liked Aaron Samuel Samuels. So she dumped herself down and she was acting like a bitch and everything else to get him to notice her even though yes Janice Ann kind of made her that way but her and Regina actually made her that way but you you see what I'm saying girls will actually do that treat their friends like shit just to get guys to notice and it's like that's not cute guys don't like girls like that be yourself I remember being a freshman in high school and I know I look like a, people be like what you're 21 you look like you're still in high school I'm not <laughs> I guess me and Keith got that in common cuz Ryan gonna say cuz he's he, Ryan gonna say 25 you look damn near 17 and he said let me grow out this goatee so me and Keith got that in common we both have a youthful appearance but seriously I remember being 14 years old, wanting so badly to fit in. I would make up lies about myself. I, I still remember having lies. I said, I think I said, I know I made up some some story about me being in a street fight. I have only been in one fight in my entire life, and a damn show sure wasn't a street fight. Um. I think I, I said something about, I told one of my, I told my friend at the time that I had a boyfriend. I didn't have no boyfriend. Mm -mm. I made up so many things, so, so many things about myself and I acted a certain way and looked a certain way. Actually, no, I did. I didn't look a certain way, but I acted a certain way to not only impress the girls, but to impress the guys. Because I want the guys to look at me. Because I'm like, I'm a freshman. I'm in high school now. So I want to, you know, have a boyfriend and everything else. And then I got to a point where I was just like, Like the, the high school I graduated, because I went to five different high schools. I'm not going to shout them all out because I know the high school I graduated from. I hate that high school. But the high school, when I attended the high school I graduated from, I'm thinking, why the hell am I trying to impress anybody who can give a shit about me anyway? What for? I don't like them and they don't like me. Okay. And I can honestly say for the first time in 21 years, I truly feel like I love who I am. Because in the past, I didn't. I would try to change myself to fit in with everybody else and it's like looking back it was like why do you want to fit in don't you want to be different 
But as a teenager, you're like, I want to be like everyone else. Like, remember, your parents used to say that same old line, if your friends jump off a bridge, would you jump too? Even though that line is ridiculous, it does make sense. Basically, that's saying, like, you want to be like, why do you want to be like everybody else? You want to do whatever, why do you want to do what everyone else is doing? Be yourself. Be yourself. I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Underneath the makeup, underneath this, I'm like the biggest dork there is. And that's okay. First of all, dork, being a dork is in. Like, that's the, like, the coolest thing to be right now is a dork. Second, like, I love who I am. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. Whereas in high school, I actually hit this fact that I was a dork because I was trying to be cool. The coolest thing, and I was going to sound corny, the coolest thing you can be is yourself. That's the coolest thing you can do. And if people make fun of you for it, well, hey, that's on them. Again, this is going to sound corny. They don't know what cool is. That sounds corny, but it's true. That's the coolest thing you can do. That's like the greatest thing you can do is just be yourself and love yourself and not conform to what society wants you to be. That's like the coolest thing to do. And I tell people all the time, when it comes to conforming to certain things and, and trying to be like everyone else, I'm a rebel. I do what I want to do. I have one rule and that's to follow my own rules. And I feel like everyone should do the same thing. How do you think so many... Like, look at Beyonce. When she was a little girl, nobody liked her. And now look at her. She's like the, at top of her game. You know? When you look at some of your favorite celebrities, they all went through it. They probably all got picked on at some point. Because they was like, oh, I'm going to be a superstar one day. Or I'm into this and I'm into that. And they look at you like, oh, you ain't going to be nothing. You from the hood. You ain't going to be nothing. Look at, look at them now. You know? I didn't really get picked on in high school. But... I did have, people did start shit with me a lot. I didn't get picked on, like on a daily basis, but people, because of, I have a smart ass mouth. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have a smart mouth. People would just come at me. You know, I was about to fight this boy one time because he called me a bitch on the wrong goddamn day, okay? I had, what, what does Summerella say? Um, the, the red Kool-Aid, um, going on down there. So it really was not the best time to call me the B word. And another time I was going to fight this girl because she didn't like me. And that's another thing. Like when I was in high school, I used to get so like offended and just confused. And when people say, oh, I don't like you. And I'll be like. I, I remember being like, why? Like, what did I do to you? Like, why don't you like me? And trying so hard to get them to like me. And now I'm at a point when people come up to me now and they're, and they're like, I don't like you. Okay. That's your problem. I, I'm sorry to hear that. Because I'm, cause I don't care. It's like, I don't care if you like me. I don't really, I don't care if you don't like me because at the end of the day, I'm me and you're you. And I'm happy to be me. And you should be happy to be you. Period. And in high school, you're going to go through that. You're going to go through situations. You don't know why girls may be coming at you. Maybe because maybe they like a guy, but the guy don't like them. But the guy likes you. Next thing you know, depending on which neighborhood you live in, which, what, 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 um, 
students, what kind of students you hanging around, they liable to cut your face all up to make you look ugly. Or they might jump you at the school. Because there's too many, I, I have seen too many situations in the news about little, about little high school girls getting jumped to death and beat to death over some dude that don't want neither one of them. And that's another thing. Don't be so naive in high school when it comes to guys, okay? All right? Don't give in too easily. High school, you're going to have guys telling you. And I know high school started for some people, but I don't give a fuck. I'm still putting this video out. But guys are going to say anything to get what they want. Okay? And then the minute you give them what they want, they're not going to want you anymore because you gave it up too easily. Guys like a challenge. Be a challenge. Make them work hard for it. And who knows, they may start out being a player, but they might fall in love with you by accident. It happens. And in college, you're going to go through the same shit, but hopefully by then, if you went through that in high school, you'll know when you get to college. Me, on the other hand, I was not so lucky because I only talked to one dude in high school. And that shit did not work out. You know? He really had me believe in that. That he really loved me and everything. But really he didn't. He was just trying to get something from me. And then in college... If y'all haven't seen that story time, he made it obvious that that's what he wanted. And right now, I'm just waiting for Mr. Wright to come to me. I'm not looking for him. We're, who knows? Our paths may cross. I might meet him this semester. I might meet him next year. I might meet him when my acting career kicks off. Who knows? Who really knows? Some of you all look at your favorite celebrities who are around your age and thinking, I wish I could find Mr. Right. He could be your Mr. Right. You don't even know. I know it sounds a little crazy, but it's true. He could be your Mr. He could be your Mr. Right. You, you have no idea. That's not even what the video is about. The video is about just being yourself. And that's another way you can get guys to notice. Be confident. Be yourself. Like we tell guys, be yourself and you'll be all right. That same thing applies to girls. Be yourself. I'm telling you, you will get friends. You will have boys flocking to you. Because if you you pretend to be something you're not and you're always bragging and making up stuff and, 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 and everything else, no guy's going to want to be with you. No guy's going to want to notice you. Trust me, I know. Any guy that I that comes to me, you know what they say to me now? Not only that, not only are you pretty, but you got a unique personality. I love your individuality. Yeah, I, and they like how I'm just being myself. That those are compliments. I like your personality. I love the way that you just you just be your you're just being yourself, and you don't care what people think about you. Those are compliments. Don't pretend, don't dumb yourself down. Don't act like you're into sports. If you're not, you're not. Don't sit there and act like you into the Game of Thrones because you're not. I'm not into the Game of Thrones and I'm not going to act like I, I have. I've never seen Game of Thrones. So I, don't, I hear good things about the show, but I have not seen it yet. Maybe one day I'll watch it. Cause I, I haven't, and don't don't ex don't judge me. But I haven't seen. I have never seen Insecure before either. Don't judge me. I really do want to see that show. I just it's not really on my priority list right now, though. But anyway, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm into Insecure and I'm into Game of Thrones because I'm just to please some dude. Cause I'm not. I'm not. Period. 
My point is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change who I am, just to to pre to please people, and you shouldn't do it either. Be yourself, and if people don't like it, well, that's hey, it sucks for them. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I know this video is all over the place, but hope hopefully it'll help someone. Make sure you subscribe and comment, and like the video, and um. Follow me at Gemini Queen Seven. Though I might be changing, I might be deleting my Instagram account and starting over pretty soon. So, because you know, if my acting career does kick off, I don't want people to follow that page. <laughs> I don't want people to follow that page. So, that page sometimes I get a little out of pocket on that page. So, um, but anyway, um. And remember, love yourself. Be yourself and love yourself. You can't be nobody else, so you might as well be yourself. And you can't expect other people to love you if you don't love yourself. You know what album helped me? What music album? What, what album? Or what artist? Rather, what singer helped me to love myself? Janet Jackson. I'm telling you. Go and listen to The Velvet Rope. That's her best album she's ever put out. And that album really showed me how to love myself and how to be myself. That album alone. Listen to the Lemonade album, Beyonce. Listen to Solange's album, SZA. Any inspirational artist. Because music really does in inspire you to do a lot of things. But that, but Janet Jackson's Velvet Rope album helped me a lot. A lot. I, rec I highly recommend you listen to that. If you have never heard of Velvet Rope, I advise you to get on Google Play, get on iTunes, whatever. Go listen to it on YouTube, something. But anyway, that's all I gotta say. And don't mind my shirt. This is my old gym shirt from high school. One of the high schools I attended. Out in Fort Carson High School. One of the best schools I ever went to in my entire life. All the other schools? <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Love yourself. Be yourself. And you will be alright. <laughs>